Bienvenidos a Life is Strange antes de la tormenta. No sé si los enseñé este menú de pantalla que ya cambió aquí, no sé, no me acuerdo, pero ya está aquí vatos el segundo episodio de Life is Strange, un mundo feliz. Acompáñame en esta aventura de Life is Strange que es el segundo episodio que va a pasar, no lo sabemos. Dicen que es una precuela, todavía sabemos, todo el pedo, pero... Rachel, nunca lo habíamos visto así. Tampoco el tipo que, que era su papá, que, el, que andaba con otra, tampoco sabíamos eso. Y hay, y hay estudiantes que tampoco estaban en el, en el juego original. Y eso tampoco sabíamos. Así que póngase uh, vergas, ¿ok? Porque este es el segundo episodio que va a pasar. ¿Quién pitos? Ay, Illuminatus, güey. Uh, hijo de tu puta, man. Creo el cuervo ya. Sí, su animal, ¿no? Espíritu, como dice... ¿Se acuerdan de Samuel? Que su animal espíritu era una ardilla o algo así. Y la de Max era de un venado. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <coughs> And that woman was definitely not my mom. Eso no sabíamos, ¿eh? En el original no sabíamos eso. La neta estuvo bien suave ese final. No sabíamos ni qué pedo y... ¡Wow! No manches. Un giro y no, hijo de su pinche madre. Ahí está el director que es alcohólico. Es que están en detención. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh... Que no la cague. Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. 
despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday, in subordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. Eh? The hell I was! I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Uh... Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Say. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. <laughs> Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you, or- Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel- Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. <sighs> Uh... 
What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. Uh, that is so. What such... was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Ah, no mames, que hago, wey? Ah, estar de acuerdo con Rachel, asumir el sitio. Ah, a ver qué pasa. Ayúdame, uh, paro. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Para ganar un desafío, refleja, escucha a tu componente y elige una respuesta. Mamá, me deja. Ah, oh, no me la quiero cagar, güey, por favor. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Uh. You're punishing her for taking the blame for me? For trying to be a good person? That makes you even more clueless than I thought. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Wells. You should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. Ah, oh, la cagué, la cagué, la cagué, la cagué, mierda. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. Uh... Why? To tell the truth, for once. Something that happens so rarely around here. Everybody lies. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year, with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Ah, no mames, casi la cago. No mames. Ay, gracias, eh. Me gata su. Uh, no mames, sus madres. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. 
This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, hey, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Bongo was a stray cat before we rescued her. Then she got run over by a car. Moral of the story, n no one's ever really rescued. Atropellado, eh? Ah, malditos carros. Saben por qué, no? Wonder who will grace this space after me. Wow. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? <laughs> I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Ahí inglés, o sea, es inglés así como el español acá en México. Bueno, bueno no sé. ¿Qué es esto? Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Finally, what I actually came here for.
Hey, qué pedo, patos, ¿cómo están? Espero que estén súper chingados. Bienvenidos a Life is Strange antes de la. Patos, ¿cómo están? Espero que estén súper chingados. Bienvenidos a Life is Strange antes de la tormenta. No sé si los enseñé este menú de pantalla que ya cambió aquí, no sé, no me acuerdo, pero ya está aquí, vatos, el segundo episodio de Life is Strange. Un mundo feliz. Acompáñame en esta aventura de Life is Strange que es el segundo episodio que va a pasar, no lo sabemos. Dicen que es una precuela, todavía sabemos, todo el pedo, pero... Rachel, nunca lo habíamos visto así Tampoco el tipo que, que era su papá que, el, que andaba con otra Tampoco sabíamos eso Y hay, y hay estudiantes que tampoco Estaban en el, en el juego original y Eso tampoco sabíamos Así que póngase uh, Vergas, ok Porque este es el segundo episodio que va a pasar ¿Quién pitos? Ay, Illuminatus, güey uh, Hijo de tu puta man. Creo el cuervo ya Sí, su animal, ¿no? Espíritu, como dice... ¿Se acuerdan de Samuel? Que su animal espíritu era una ardilla o algo así. Y la de Max era de un venado. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Es todo difícil esa decisión para mí. Dejarme o... Ella ya... Pobrecita, ¿no? Rachel, bueno, pues ella le gusta actuar, así que bueno. Pues lo hice por ella también, ¿no? No manches. Pobrecita, pero su papá, hijo de su puta madre. Y luego ahí está su papá, que Rachel ya sabe cómo lo que pasó. Ay, bueno, ya saben, la comentan favorita de este gran juegazo Llamado Life is Strange Before the Storm Ok, ya saben, se la lavan con ese mucho ¡Ah! 